hello, welcome to Pajama Yoga with Joanna. This is going to be a really simple sequence of gentle movements to warm up, to wake up your entire body. You can take this whole sequence in bed if you like, otherwise coming onto your yoga mat and wherever you are just finding a comfortable seat. Well, we don't really need any props for today's practice, but if you know that you would like a little bit of support then you could have some blocks handy or a thick book or a couple of cushions. So I'm sitting onto a cushion now, I recommend that you do the same, I have a second one here or a rolled up towel or blanket is always a lovely thing to have handy in any yoga practice. So feel free to use your props in any way at any time as we move through. Make sure that you're supporting yourself. So sit up nice and tall here. Stack your shoulders on top of your hips. Extend the crown of your head up towards the ceiling. Humble your chin in slightly. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Fill up. Exhale out your mouth, a sigh, let it go. One more like that, inhale, fill up. Exhale, let it go, shoulders soften. Take one more breath in through your nose. This time as you exhale out of your nose, draw your chin down in towards your chest. Feel the back of your neck lengthen. Take a breath in, roll your right ear over towards your right shoulder. Exhale, stay, both shoulders heavy. Inhale, roll your chin back down to your chest. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, roll your left ear to your left shoulder this time. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, roll the chin back down to centre. Exhale, stay. Start inhaling, lift your gaze forward. Keep inhaling, reach both hands all the way up towards the sky. Maybe gaze lifts up. As you exhale, bring your right hand down to the mat beside you. Reach over with your left fingertips. Side stretch. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, left hand down, right fingertips, reach both sit bones heavy. One more time each side, inhale, lift up. And exhale, reach, really press the mat away with that right hand, open your left shoulder. Inhale, lift. Exhale, final side, feel both sit bones ground evenly down. Inhale, all the way back up through centre. This time as you breathe out, bring your right hand to the outside of your left knee, left fingertips behind you. Inhale, extend the crown of your head up. And exhale, twist. Use your right hand as a lever. One more breath. Inhale, find more space between each vertebra. Exhale, twist through your midsection. Shoulders widen. Inhale, all the way through center, arms reach. Exhale, other side, left hand down to the outside of your right knee this time. Right hand behind you like a kickstand. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, twist. One more deep breath in. Exhale, shoulders draw away from each other. Inhale, come all the way back through center, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your hands down in front, roll over your knees, uncross your feet behind you, move a prop out of the way if it's there. We're coming for tabletop, so you guys stay facing forward. I'm just going to come to the side so that you can see. Bring your wrists underneath your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, press the tops of your feet down. Your fingers quite wide here. Inhale, lift your gaze, drop your belly for cow. As you breathe out, draw your belly towards your spine, tailbone descends, chin to chest. Inhale, gaze lifts, tailbone lifts, shoulders roll away from the ears. 
inhale, exhale, round, really press the mat away. Keep moving like this with your own breath, a few more rounds on your own here. Staying with a linear movement or if you like, you can bring any other movements that feel good in your body, maybe circles in your hips, your shoulders, close your eyes, feel into your body. Feel any areas of tension, any sticky points, send your breath there, create a little bit more space. And come back to neutral tabletop position as you feel ready. Look at your left hand, twizzle your fingers to face back. So first they go out to the side of your mat and then keep rotating the hand, fingertips face back, other hand. Swizzle them around. <laughs> and if you can already feel a stretch in your wrists, then just stay here. If you like a little bit more, and start to press your hips towards the back and you'll feel it, you will know. Don't go to the point of pain, keep pressing the heels of your hands down. Breathe into it, we're not here for much longer. If you've pressed your hips back, bring them back so they stack on top of your knees, shoulders over wrists. And then walk your hand one at a time, fingertips face back forward, sit your bum back onto your heels and just shake your hands out. You guys stay where you are, I'm just going to shuffle forward slightly. Shaking out those wrists and then come up, so lift your hips up, tuck your toes under. Sit your hips back onto your heels for toe squat, my favorite. Again, you stay, I'm gonna reface forward. So in your toe squat, you might need to use your hands, your fingers to just make sure that all of your toes are completely tucked under. That little toe can get away from us sometimes. Sitting your weight back nice and heavy. We'll take some variations with our arms now. So at any point you can come out of the stretch in the feet, you can just untuck your toes and come to a kneeling position. But I challenge you to try and stay. Inhale, open your arms out wide, press your hands back as far as you can, open your chest. As you exhale, wrap your right arm underneath your left, Garudasana, eagle arms. Palms can press or grab opposite shoulders. Take a breath in, lift your elbows up as high as you can. As you exhale, draw your elbows in towards your chest, tuck your chin in, hands press away from your face. Inhale, lift up. Keep your lower ribs contained here, flare out through your ribs as you lift. Exhale, curl in. Just one more time, inhale, lift your elbows. Exhale, elbows press into your body as your hands move towards the floor. This time, inhale, lift up halfway. Keep inhaling, open your arms out wide, press your hands back, lift your heart. And exhale, other side, left arm underneath right this time. This is a great opportunity to come out of your feet, but I challenge you to stay. Lift your elbows up, inhale. And as you exhale, Elbows into chest, tuck your chin in. There's two more, inhale, lift. And exhale, curl in. Final time, lift, but keep your rib cage contained. And exhale, curl in. This time, inhale, come up halfway. Keep inhaling, open your arms, press your hands back as far as you can. Crack your heart open, lift your gaze. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down in front, gently untuck your toes. Resist the urge to tap the feet straight away. Just let your feet settle. And then if you like, you can gently tap the tops of your feet. And now widen your knees out, as wide as your mat. Bring your toes to touch. Hips to heels, arms stretch forward, rest your forehead down, 
for child's pose. So this is a great place to support yourself with your props here. I'm going to place this cushion under my chest and under my head. So just make sure that you feel supported for a few breaths here. Forehead down, mind just turning my head to the side, so hopefully you can still hear me. And you can take an active child's pose here if you choose to press your hands down and away from your head to drive your sit bones closer towards your heels. Or if you'd like a little bit more relief for your shoulders here, option to walk your hands around to rest near your feet and just let your shoulders drop heavy towards the mat. Take some deep belly breaths here. If your hands are beside your legs, reach them back in front. And walk your hands back towards you so you just come up into a kneeling position here. If you have a prop, just put it to the side. And then bring your weight down onto either hip so that you can swing your legs out, around and in front of you, coming for a forward fold. So walk the fleshy parts out from underneath you, but rather than pulling them to the sides, fall back. Bring a little bend into your knees here. Great place to have a cushion or rolled up blanket. This is just optional. Feels really supportive. Inhale, reach your hands up. And exhale, reach forward. Keep reaching forward. Imagine that you're trying to pass a present to someone really, really far on the other side of the room. Crown of head, heart, extend forward. Flex your feet, grab for the outside edges. As you inhale, Pull on your feet, lift your heart forward. And as you exhale, point your toes away from you, chin to chest. Inhale, flex your feet. Elbows maybe come out to the side as your gaze lifts. Exhale, drive the balls of your feet away from you, chin tucks in. And one more time, inhale, flex the feet. Pull your heart forward, lift. And exhale, press your toes away from you to find that extension through the sides of your upper back. And then just let go any gripping here. Make this a passive forward fold for the last couple of breaths. Really let your head go. So if you're holding your head up here, let it go. Maybe make some little semicircles with your head here. And then bring your fingertips down to the mat beside your legs. Use your hands to help you curl all the way up. And move a prop if it's there. Just come to light all the way down onto your back. Bend your knees, place the soles of your feet down. So your heels are quite near to your bum here. Maybe you can graze the back of your heels with your middle finger. Feet hip bone distance apart. Take a breath in, lift your hips up, lift your arms up overhead at the same time and move in unison. And then exhale, bring your hands back down. See whether you can get your hips and your hands to land at the same time. This is harder than it sounds. A couple more times. Inhale, really press your feet, lift your hips. Hands come down the floor behind you as your hips reach the highest point. And then exhale, articulate. See whether you can feel each vertebra hitting the mat one by one. Let's do one more like that. Keep your knees parallel here. Make sure that they're not splaying out to the sides. Press the feet, use your hamstrings to lift up. Final time, let's lower down even slower here. Hmm. And then extend your right leg high to sky. 
flex your ankle, toes towards your face, and then cross your ankle over. Help with your opposite knee, creating a figure four shape. Keep flexing your feet back towards your shin. You can stay here. You could place a block or a cushion under your left foot, or you can reach your hand through the gap you created. Pick up your left leg behind your left hamstring or across your left shin. Relax your left lower leg, relax your shoulders into the mat. Breathe your right knee away from you. Keep your tailbone grounded down here, so you should be able to creep your fingers underneath your low back. Keep that natural curvature. Release the grip of your hands. Ground your left foot back down, bring your arms out wide in a capital T shape. Walk your hips a little bit over towards the left and then drop your entire shape over towards your right hand side. So you can keep your top foot hooked onto the outside of your leg or you can release if you prefer a more open twist. Yogi's choice here, maybe close your eyes. Feel those shoulders melt down into the mat. Your gaze can go in the opposite direction to your legs, or it can stay at neutral. That's what I prefer for my body, so you choose. Maybe even gaze in the same direction as your legs. Stay curious with this practice. If you have your right ankle hooked still on the outside of your left leg, just release that now. And use your abdominal muscles to draw your knees back up through centre. Shift your hips back into the middle of your mat. And then extend your left foot high to sky. Flex your ankle. Create your figure four shape here. And check in with this hip. This hip could be completely different to the other side. We're never symmetrical. So again, stay with your foot grounded. Place a prop underneath your foot or reach through and clasp that leg behind your hamstring or behind your calf. Tailbone is glued to your mat. Toes are flexing directly back over your shin. Shoulders soften any amount. Release the grip of your hands, ground your right foot down, bring your arms out wide. Shift your hips a little bit over towards the right side. Your whole shape, legs stay as they are, just tip everything over to your left. And then again, you can keep your left ankle hooked or uncross it. You choose. Again, this side could be different. Gaze wherever is most comfortable for your neck. And then looking in the opposite direction to your legs, if that adds something, if that feels beneficial for you. And then if you have the hook of the foot still, Simply unhook, gently draw your knees back up through centre, shift your hips back into the middle of your mat. Send your feet away from you, hands in the opposite direction, take a really big stretch here, get as long as you can. Take a breath in. As you exhale, draw your hands in, your knees in towards your chest, wrap your hands or your forearms around your legs, soften your shoulders down, hug your knees in. You can stay with your head grounded or you might like to pick up your head, squeeze your knees all the way, your nose all the way to your knees. And then make your way into your final Shavasana, resting pose. So make any final movements that you need, make sure you're warm enough, make sure you're comfortable. I highly recommend placing blocks or cushions underneath your calves, especially if you have a sensitive lower back. You could have a cushion or a blanket underneath your head. 
You need to place the blanket over the top of you. You can place something over your eyes. Look after yourself. Make your Shavasana as comfortable, as nurturing as you can. Feet wide, toes flop out. Arms come away from your body. Gently shuffle one shoulder blade underneath you and then the other. Palms can face up or down. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open mouth, sigh it out. Relax your jaw. Soften the tongue away from your mouth. Cheeks are soft, forehead soft, breath is relaxed. Shavasana is the most important part of our yoga practice. So I really encourage you to stay here for as long as you can. Soaking up this moment of stillness, a moment of rest for yourself. For either staying here or if you're ready to move on with your day, Take a deep breath in through your nose. Send your breath all the way down into your belly. Nose or mouth, exhale softly. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers, your toes. Circle your wrists and ankles. Bring your feet close together. Stretch your toes away from you. Stretch your arms up overhead. Reach tall, inhale, and as you exhale, draw your knees in towards your chest, and roll onto your favorite side, use your forearm as a pillow, top hand comes down in front for support. Pause here for a couple of breaths. And then keeping your eyes closed or downcast, press your top hand into the mat to help yourself lift all the way back up to the seat. Sitting however is comfortable for you. Tall spine. Bring your hands up to heart center, forearms parallel to the ground. Draw your chin in towards your chest. Bow your head closer to your heart. Have a moment of gratitude here for yourself for choosing to do something to give back to your body. 
Thank you so much for joining me. I hope to see you again soon. Namaste. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day. Please drink plenty of water. Take care. Stay safe.